Hey guys, it's Rain. So this fall leaves earrings I actually realized to make. For this, I'm going to be using this porcelain clay. This is the kind of clay that hardens with air. So you don't have to bake this, but you can use polymer clay as well. And I'm going to roll a bit uh, using my roller with those two green rings on each light side. Those are there just so that I can have like the same thickness all throughout my clay. I do have the DIY for those. They are really to make. And I'm going to be taking a leaf like straight up from the ground. And you know, just choose a leaf that you like the size and shape of because th that is going to be like our template. So I'm just going to be placing my leaf there on top and then just going a couple of times with my roller until I have like the shape of the leaf kind of like printed on my clay. Then I'm going to be taking an exacto knife i'm gonna cut the shape once i'm done with the shape just go with my nails or just my fingers and just you know smooth all the rough edges then i'll take this tool i do have the diy for this one is pretty easy and handy to have i'm gonna lift my leaf and i'm using this tool just to work on the details of my leaf pretty much going with what my leaf left in there if that makes sense and i'm letting this dry if you're using polymer clay this is when you bake it i'm gonna be taking some more clay roll it this time I'm going to be using this Wilson 1M piping tip. I'm going to be cutting one circle. Then this time I'm going with my cutter and then just cut four pieces like this. And for two of them, I'm going to be rolling them into tiny spheres. And I'm going to let it dry. But before it's like fully dry, I'm going to be taking a couple of pins and I'm going to be making holes. The reason I wait a little bit for it to harden is because this clay is really soft before it hardens. So if you touch it right after, I'm going to lose the sphere shape. If you're working polymer clay, you can make the holes and make them or you can use standard pins. I'm going to be taking some eye pins. I'm choosing to work with this color. It's like a antique gold kind of and I'm going to be cutting them. I know I forgot to uh, record this part but I removed uh, the pin from my clay spheres but I'm going to be gluing my eye pin using some super glue and just placing those on those holes. Then I'm going to glue my leaf to my sphere using my super glue and I have this glue holder by the way that I did I DIY on a video. I want to check it out. It's really handy to have. If you're working with polymer clay feel free to use super glue as well or you can use i think it's called translucent clay a liquid that you add on clay that acts like a glue when you bake it to paint this i'm going to be using my antique gold i do have the diy for this it's really easy to make and i really like this shade of gold taking my black acrylic paint covering the sphere let it dry so finally i'm going to be adding my ear wires i really like them i'm going to be opening my eye pins with my pliers placing my eye pins and then just closing my eye pin back again but you guys these are the earrings that i want to share with you i really like them i think they look really nice you can dress them up and make them more elegant or you can dress them down and just make them more casual they're really easy to make pretty lightweight they're one of those accessories i think that go with everything that are handy to have hopefully they don't look like weird bugs by the way and hopefully you like them too if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up let me know down below and share this subscribe for more and check out more accessories that i have on my channel thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye